If you want my update on my rolling project pen, then stick around. Hi there, it's Ilen with another video and it is another update to my rolling project pen. I have a bunch of items and I cannot wait to talk to you about them. And I am going to go from least to most used and then as well talk to you about the weight change uh, that the scale is showing for the products as I am using them. All right, let's go, like I said, from least to most used. There are two products out of the whole rolling project pan that I did not use this month. I did not use my Joe Fresh Ash pencil. This is a brow pencil. And I also did not use my little sample container of the ABH brow pomade. So those are the two that I did not use this month. So we'll set those aside. Next up, I have this little Aqua XL from Makeup Forever. I am happy to report I am wearing it today in the waterline, so down here, and I'm also wearing it on the inner lid. I used it as a base for the inner lid shadow called Toadstool that you see on my eye today. So I did use this product, and I used the cap that has a little bit of a, a dip in it. I ended up opening it up, and pouring just what I thought I would need into the top and used the top as my little dipping area to use the product and I really like doing that and I will probably do that again it worked really well so I used it I may only have used it once but hey I used it this month I'm happy next up is a blush that I usually use daily during this whole project and it is the Tarte Insight blush and I did not use it well I used it I think twice this month because I had two other blushes that I was working on in the uh, Roulette Pen collab and also in the You Choose My Palettes series. It's a brand new series on my channel. I'll put that uh, video up here if you want to see it. I just had too many blushes. So like I said, I think I used it twice. Now a couple of lip products. I used this one a handful of times and then this one twice for sure, but I think it was more than that. Uh, they are both glosses. One is from Estee Lauder, the other one is from Lancome. And I like the fact that they're very different and so it makes it easier to reach for them for different looks. And I think I use this one more than I'm saying, but I don't want to exaggerate my usage. I really like the glosses. I will continue to use them. I ended up using the NARS Bound. It's a Velvet Glide uh, Bound in the Roulette Pen collab because I just really liked it quite a bit, but I'm almost, almost done with it. So these are going to get the attention they deserve. Next up is a product that you would have seen in this container last month, and I have depotted it into this container because it was almost, well, it was, I was dipping below the plastic um, in the container and so I just decided to scoop it all out and put it into a more usable container. And this is a root touch-up product that can also be used for brows and so that is what I am using right now. It is the dark brown slash black from Rita Hazen and it, I think it does an okay job. I, I think it does an okay job in the brow and so I use that plus a the product that's coming up next um, and also some um, clear brow gel for setting. So I'm happy, never mind this, this name, I depotted into a, a cleaned out sample container. But um, I'm, I'm happy to be using it. I don't like to waste product and that is part of why the Joe Fresh Ash Pencil did not get used because I'm focusing on this right now. Speaking of focus, I also focused a whole lot on this one. This is a universal brow uh, wax from Joe Fresh. And it looks like this. I have brow hair on it. There we go. It looks like this. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see the base. It is broken. It has been broken for a while. And it's getting to be really complicated to use because I have to keep it just, just at the edge of the plastic. And it's not a whole lot of fun. So I'm trying to debate. There's quite a bit of product in here. And I think I'm going to depot it into the same container as the Rita Hazen and use a brush to try to apply this uh, brow wax. But if it ends up being too cumbersome, I may just uh, declutter it next update. But I 
basically am considering it done. I mean, I used quite a bit compared to the last month, um, but I don't know. You tell me what you think of the progress. I'm pretty happy with, with what I've been able to do with this product, and I am looking forward to moving on to other brow waxes. So um, I'm, I'm kind of very motivated to finish whatever product is left. Getting into the more and more progress here, uh, this is the Butter Bronzer Light from Physician's Formula. It is a bronzer that I mentioned last time that I had to repress. Uh, there was just too much pan showing and I was having trouble getting my brush in. And I think you'll see, see some of the pattern right up here of, of the paper towel when I was soaking up the alcohol. Uh, and almost all of that design is is gone on this side. I used this bronzer three of the four weeks since the last update because I was using also the Hula Light as one of the selection in the palette roulette that I'm involved in. And so I'm, I'm happy though because every single other day that I could I used this bronzer and I am making progress and that's what counts. And another one I can show good progress on is the Boeing Industrial Number no. 2. I used this one for three of the four weeks in the month. Again, I had an, a complexion product palette that I was working through as well, but I am really looking forward to finishing this up. You can see that I focused on the pan from bottom. I'm working my way up and that is working really nicely for me. I really enjoy the industrial concealer number two. It's just that I've been working on this thing for over a year and I just want to use it up before it goes bad. And, and I'm doing it, so I'll keep going. Next up is the Makeup Forever Foundation, HD Foundation. I am in Y215 and I don't know if I have a better view here. Oh yeah, okay. So I'm being a little conservative with my line. I was at the top of that really thick line and now I am down here. See that really narrow line at the bottom here? That is where I am at. So I have made a progress from here to here and I use it, I would say 80% of the time. There are only a few days out of the month where I did not wear foundation. And so I'm making steady progress and I'm very happy to be using this foundation because it is getting old and I was reminded of just how good it is and I'm happy it is back into the rotation. Now it does not have any SPF so I have to supplement with an SPF moisturizer but I'm okay. I'm okay with using this product and I will be using it throughout the summer and if I do need a bit of a darker shade I will be mixing it with the Sephora uh, matte bronze or that's a CC cream or with the debronzy from Drunk Elephant. So yeah, pretty happy to have it. And finally, I have used this product almost every single day. Every time I used the Makeup Forever, I was using this as well. It is an illuminating primer, but I use it by mixing it with the Makeup Forever as opposed to putting it as a separate step. And I have made a lot of progress. So see the last line right there? I am all the way down to here and I'm really, really happy with it. I don't have very much left to go as you can tell. This stuff takes forever to use but I am looking forward to being finished because I would like to use some other primers and I have some pretty great ones uh, waiting in the wings. So definitely I think another two months and I should be done with this and I'm so looking forward to it. Okay, let's talk weights. The last month I had a total weight of 320 grams on the scale. This time around I am down to 287. That is 37 grams of difference. Now one of the items, I forgot to remove the packaging and weigh it again. So this, this empty packaging of the Rita Hazen is part of the difference. Uh, that was substituted with this and this is a, a lot lighter as far as packaging overall. But if you can just ignore that difference and there was a clip on this that there wasn't in this weighing. So those two small differences definitely make um, a weight difference and I usually try to make sure that packaging is not a factor but if you can overlook it I'm still very happy with 37 grams of product difference. That is huge to me and I'm really happy. As well, I think I have plenty of products to continue going without adding anything new uh, to this rolling project pan 
And uh, yeah, so if you are curious, take a look at the progress pictures. You will see um, all the changes up close and personal. The changes that are material, I won't bore you with things you can't tell the difference on. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy the pictures and um, let me know what you think. Well, that's it. Thank you so much for watching everything in this video. I appreciate it very much. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. But for now, take care.